Howdy, everybody. Um, on another business trip, so uh, I'll keep this one short. Right now, insurance premiums for homes in places like Florida and California have gone through the roof, and they've done so very abruptly and without notification. I myself had an insurance policy in Texas. I've never made a claim on it in the last 15 years on any of my homes. Uh, this last summer, or this last spring, it went up by almost 800 to 1,000 a month. I don't remember the exact number. I called the insurance guy who handles my package insurance. I'm like, you gotta find me something else. He said, let me look into it. He found me another company. And I call him back when I get the info. And I'm like, well, what the hell happened? I've been with that insurance company for years. And he said, buddy, the insurance company wants to get out of Texas because of all the hurricanes. They're doing the same thing in Florida and the earthquakes and whatever the hell has happened in California. So they can't just kick you off your insurance to get you off the policy so they can leave the state and leave the liability. So what they're doing is they're raising your rates to such an extent that you have to jump off. Now, fortunately for me, I'm using an insurance guy who has contacts with multiple companies. He put together a package, done. But not everyone has that option. And more importantly, now people are rebuilding and they're just not insuring the home because they don't have a choice. Even renter's insurance has gone up. This is not just, they say it's, oh, it's climate change is causing costs. Well, whatever that has to do with it is fine and dandy, but it's also a business thing. Think about it, these insurance companies, they have liabilities, they have costs, they're getting hit with the inflation, the increased costs, the lack of people, et cetera, et cetera. They have to keep their business functional. The only way to do it is to get out of high risk areas or to raise premiums to the point where the people who work for a living like you and I can no longer do it. So folks, a few things to think about. One, shop around for your insurance the best you can. Two, if you're relocating, look at the flood maps and the historical risks in that area so you are not stuck with a really high premium six months from after you close because, oh, we just rewrote your flood map. And lastly, make steps or take steps in your house to reduce your insurance premium. Things like fire alarms or smoke alarms, fire extinguishers, other safety features will get you discounts and show that you're a good homeowner. Good luck out there. I really don't know how we can fix this. Just do the best you can, but shop around because at least three states that I know of, including me personally, have had our insurance rates go up by almost a thousand bucks a month. That's not sustainable. Be good.